Today we head to the coast and visit Santa Barbara Airport. I have a good relationship with this airport as it was my first best IFR approach. And today was no different. Something about this airport makes me really comfortable. We had showed in my stable approach, we did the RNAV GPS Runway 07. 07 approach is along the coast, but just a heads up, when you depart, you might be departing runway 15, which is straight to the coast, which is great in the daytime, but nighttime, be aware of that black hole effect because you are literally sent directly over the Pacific Ocean. Personally, I wouldn't do that unless I'm on an IFR departure, but that's just me. Stay parking. Second chair, 39 Hotel. For 39 Hotel, you can roll down to the end, left turn at Juliet, ground one, 10.7 as you exit. All the way to the end and left on Juliet. Thanks for help, 39 Hotel. Now this is a 6,000 foot runway. So if you're going to Signature, it's pretty much at the end of the runway. So you can probably land long. Don't do what I did. I'm just so used to and wanting to land on the numbers. So a couple of facts about Santa Barbara Airport. It is a Charlie. It does get busy as it does have commercial airlines. And as I mentioned earlier, it is on the coast. So what is always a problem on the coast? Yep, that marine layer. But you're a good pilot. Meaning if you're flying VFR, you're always gonna have a good alternate. And if you're flying IFR, well, you won't have no problem getting in. Ground arrow one nine three nine hotel clear a zero seven at Juliet for signature. Arrow one nine three nine hotel Santa Barbara ground text signature via Juliet. Via Juliet uh, for signature six nine three nine hotel. Now I'm still, but it's considered probably a baby in aviation as I only have about four hundred hours now, but I still stumble over radio calls as you can tell. We've been to this airport before, but that was during my IFR training, so we didn't stop. This is the first time we're actually going to go to Signature, and you're going to soon find out we actually didn't stay there. And the reason we didn't stay was because they didn't have a crew car. We actually wanted to come here, drive around, get some food. And so you'll see you're going to get the scenic tour of Santa Barbara Airport. As you can tell, we stopped because we were a little lost on where exactly to park, but there was luckily a lineman out there and he guided us on where to park for signature. As I said, there were no crew cars, so off to Atlantic we went. Santa Barbara Ground, Arrow 1993 Niner Hotel. At Signature would actually like to go to Atlantic. November 1993 Niner Hotel, Santa Barbara Ground, taxi to Atlantic via Charlie, cross rise 15 left, 15 right. Now I'm not gonna lie, I was a little confused where Charlie Taxiway actually was. Finally figured it out and went to the taxiway line.
so we're gonna cross runways one five left and one five right so as always make sure you still look at final just in case there's some traffic Once again, we got confused when we got to Atlantic. We didn't know where to park, but we called the Unicom at 122.95, which actually communicates with Atlantic, and they ended up guiding us to what to do next. Good morning, Atlantic. One nine three nine hotel. Want to know where to park? Correct. There is fine. We're sending some. We're sending someone out there right now for you. Okay. No problem. Thank you. And just like that, we have someone guiding us to parking. Now everybody has to debate Signature versus Atlantic, especially since they're the two main ones that are at most airports. Personally, we've had a better experience at Atlantic. They've just been seeming more generous towards us, and we've never had a problem getting a crew car. So this Atlantic was no different. They were very courteous, very generous. They made sure we were taken care of. We even got a crew car. We went into town to eat. So kudos to Atlantic at Santa Barbara. And if you're curious what our fees was when we left, well, as always, we'll put in the description a full breakdown. And as always, checklist time. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. It really helps. And if you don't want to miss our next cool video, please subscribe. And if you have any questions about this airport, the FBOs, or anything about it, please leave a comment. All right, checklist complete. So we were flying in here and we kept hearing Raider as a call sign. And of course, it is my wife's favorite plane ever. Who am I lying? She has like 50 favorite military planes, probably all of them. Anyways, enjoy this C-130.